Live from the internet, it's the Dr. Tom the Frog Show! Hi-ho! I, I am Dr. Tom the Frog, and you are watching the Dr. Tom the Frog Show. Don't you like that beautiful sign that I have there? Thanks, Alex Prins, for the, the sign. And tonight we're in front of the... Uh, Attack on Titan City, for those who may have uh, seen that fantastic movie. Uh, so hopefully we are far enough away to have no troubles. And uh, we are going to go in to talk to a very exciting person. Now, I'm going to introduce her first as her alter ego. That is the one and only Marissa Kelly. Uh, how are you doing, Marissa Kelly? How are you? I'm great. I was worried that you were going to out me as Magneto there for a second. Oh, well, that just—I thought that was a pretty dress. Is you were Magneto? Yeah, totally. <laughs> no, thank you oh, for that's... having me, Doctor Tom. I appreciate it. Well, great. Now, Marissa, you are from um, uh, Blackbird Games, correct? <laughs> Magpie, close though. Oh, oh man, I totally screwed up your company's name. Now I'm eating crow. I understand that you have a game under development called A Pillion that's all about dragons. Uh, Marissa, I am an expert on frogs, being one, and being a doctor. And I happen to know that frogs, being um, being reptiles, are very closely related to dragons. So this is very interesting to me. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm glad to learn that. I'm, I'm also here to learn. Great. So what is it about A Pillion that you, you most want to share with the world? What's this game about that's so exciting? So uh, I think it's pretty exciting that you get to play baby dragons that grow up to be big dragons in a dragon-centric world. So dragons, 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 and it's hard to be, it's hard to be sad about that. It's pretty cool. Um, I guess the, big, the coolest part to me is that uh, friendship plays a big part, so it harkens back a little bit to uh, My Little Pony, if there's any bronies out there. Um, we've got uh, some friendship mechanics where you trade dragon gems, because you're a dragon, and who doesn't love gems, um, when you display um, uh, when, some, when you display someone else's virtue. So when they get, when you play to their strengths, they uh, appreciate it and give you some dragon gems that you can then use to do moon magic, because I love dragons, and I also really love magic, so I just kind of put them together. Interesting. So how is it that I would become, like, a young adult dragon, and how do I compile a horde and destroy adventurers? So there are no adventurers. You actually are the adventurers. But if you want to grab a horde on your way, that is all up to you. You've got to just collect it and figure out where you want to store it and do all that jazz, but uh, since you're a dragon, it's just kind of assumed you can do that, so you just do it. There, I don't have any mechanics to stop you from doing that. Tell me, in, um, I'm sorry, what is it called again? Epillion. It means mini epic. Oh. It's a real word. I didn't have to make it up. That's great, because I know that White Wolf likes using words that are made up. <laughs> What, what is it about a pillion? Like, what kind of games, say, what kind of games would I like that are out there that would make you say, oh, you know what, Dr. Tom the Frog, I think a pillion might be for you. Um, well, I think that uh, if you like being able to play um, sort of a um, fantasy setting, sort of like Lord of the Rings, but with sort of a YA twist um, to it, that you'd like that. Um, sort of like if you enjoy playing Dungeon World, you might enjoy playing this. Um, it's a little more YA than Dungeon World is, but uh, it's sort of fleshing it out. So, When is a pillion going to be available for frogs who may want to hack it for frog-related games? Of course. Um, we're going to Kickstarter early next year, so in the next few months... As we kind of come to the close here, I, I got to ask one last question. What What is your favorite kind of pizza, and what do you like to have on it? Hmm, my favorite kind of pizza. Um, well, I gotta say it's I gotta keep it simple, and I like pepperoni and green chili. Um, 
And uh, the only problem is I can only get that here in New Mexico. So <laughs> uh, when I'm here, I load up on the green chili and I put it all over that pepperoni pizza. <laughs> wow. That is, is, is green chili spicy then? That sounds like it yeah. would be. Yeah, it's spicy and it's delicious and it's highly addictive. I, it's I highly recommend it. All right. How would you think that would taste with flies? You know, it makes everything taste better. I would probably eat a barrel full of flies if it had green chili on it. Oh, wow, that is great to hear. Thank you so much, Marissa Kelly, for for recommending some green chili uh, pizza. And I'm excited to to try out a pillion sometime. Uh, and and so thank you for coming on for to talk about your game, Marissa. No, oh, thank you for having me, Tom. You just watch the Dr. Tom the Frog show, and we hope that you liked what you saw, yo. But if it was a big waste of your time, well, it's free, so that's not a crime. But if it was a waste of your time. Yes, it's free, so that's not a crime.